now you're telling me that even though I was offered a cash in lieu and you verified and saw that a supervisor offered me a cash in lieu and I've told you that supervisors have offered me cash in lieu dozens, well not dozens, excuse me, a bunch of times, at least two, definitely during the phone calls that I've made while I sat on hold or after I sat on hold for over a day. Um, so I'm just confused as to why you even verified it. I've told you that I've been offered this. I was almost sued because your company refused to fix it within six months. And I'm still getting the runaround? That's interesting. Okay. Here, Howard. Here, Howard. I'm just asking you to please hold on. I'm going to contact the CIO, okay? Okay. So we can finish the issue right now. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Welcome, hold on. Yes, so I've called these guys uh, over over 20 times. This is American Home Shield. We we made an appointment and originally sent this claim in July, on July 5th. It is October 11th today. Um, my refrigerator is not fixed. They sent out contractors to fix it. Originally, the contractor not only didn't fix the problem, but he replaced a plastic grate on the refrigerator that wasn't broken, uh, which left obviously an unrepaired appliance. The microwave, I set a claim at the same time it's October 11th. The microwave has still not been delivered to the house. And it was open on July 5th. And now, after my tenants were legally allowed to move out because I was put in violation of my own lease because the appliances weren't repaired, can you believe that? And this happened despite dozens of phone calls to American Home Shield. My wife called. I get lied to. And they tell me that they tried to call my wife. And that's why nothing has happened. Because she doesn't answer. I, uh, my wife calls. They tell her they tried to call me. And that's why nothing has gotten fixed. Because I don't answer. We check the phone records. They've never once tried to call us. I've been escalated to, super, uh, to supervisors almost every time I talk to them. So today, after I'm, I'm calling them because my wife called them last week and they told her that we weren't getting the cash in lieu that they promised me for my refrigerator because they finally just said, hell, we'll buy you a new fridge because I pay for a service. I've spent over $4,500 on this service. And they tell her that it was closed and done. Funny, I have not been given any money for a refrigerator that I was required to replace out of pocket because they've refused to do it. Mm, and it, it's even in my clause. So if anyone else has the same kind of issues with American Home Shield, because I'm still on hold, I mean, hold music. I've memorized it by now. It's uh, it's actually quite terrible, and it's in my in my nightmares now. But hey, what are you gonna do? Um, I've already I filed complaints with the Better Business Bureau and the American Trade Commission. So we'll see. They just hung up on me. American Home Shield just hung up on me again. Well, that's hilarious. Not unexpected. They do this a lot. Um, and then occasionally they'll call back and just wait for you to say hello and then they'll end their phone call. And that's actually sneaky. What that does is it allows them to say they tried to call you back because they have a phone record of them calling. So... Ah, fraudulent. Um, yeah, the American Trade Association, or whatever it is, 
those guys, uh, they're required to respond if you file complaints with them. So keep it up. Hopefully we can get these people shut down. Have a nice day. Bye.